What's up, homies? Post-surgery, I'm bored, I'm at home, I'm in pain. So let's make some cookies. That's so we're gonna cream some butter from my notes. Probably doesn't mean anything to you. A little side note about this hazelnut flour. It's not flour, it's just hazelnuts ground up. So the recipe calls for six tablespoons of butter. I think this is eight, but more butter won't hurt you. Half a cup of brown sugar. So here's my dilemma. Dough paddle, whisk. Now we're just gonna cream. I'm gonna make the executive decision of adding another stick of butter. Recipe calls for one egg, but I added more butter. Why not give it more eggs? Cookie makers, start your stand mixers. About a tablespoon, teaspoon, or as much as you like. Two cups of hazelnut flour. About a half a teaspoon of baking powder. About half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a, about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And let's resume. Now the recipe I'm following or looked up from the Hungry Hutch didn't have chocolate chips. That's cool. I like chocolate chips. So now the batter's done. You're supposed to scoop them out from a tablespoon or teaspoon, put them on a baking sheet and put it in the oven. I am gonna not do that. Everyone who has taught me how to bake have learned, put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. Before I forget to tell you, because I'm a forgetful dude, 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. might have a problem, I don't know. First batch. I don't know. Not so bueno. I'm not gonna edit this shit out because I wanna be real. Fudge. All right, we'll let them chill on the pan. They're not too, too bad. They're not gonna win any Trophies. Smaller batch, let's see how that looks. Ah, success! So the way I fixed it was added a quarter cup of flour. They weren't binding, that's why I just kept melting the goopy mess. Very yum. Thank you for watching.